Let's check in now with our Chief Election Analyst, Tom Connell, with some fresh numbers, Tom. Yeah, let's take a look at Brad, and this is another area where the Liberal Party and Jackie Lambie are hoping to do well. Um, taking a look at the overall count here, I think that's just gone to Lambie first. Yeah, they're not leading the count. Let's not get too dramatic. And we're seeing a bit more now, 4.3%. So Jeremy Rockliffe, no surprise, a huge amount. And let's just put that into quota numbers, 2.5% quotas in his own right, the, um, the Premier. So that's a huge result there. He obviously will drag a lot of that vote or push it down to some of his colleagues. The highest Labor candidate only on 0.47. But when you look at that party breakdown, Labor's obviously easy getting a seat at this stage, 4.2. But these are some of the smaller booths, so that could come down. But that's nonetheless an encouraging number. For Jackie Lambie... 8.9% is a decent result in Braddon. That wouldn't guarantee necessarily a seat because it does get to the candidate level there as well. So will her candidate, her lead candidate, be able to poll enough to hold off, for example, perhaps the Greens or Craig Garland as well at 0.6? So that is still very much a live contest, remembering individuals don't leak votes. Craig Garland, once he gets a vote, he hangs on to it and still benefits from preferences. Nonetheless, when we go out and take a look then at Braddon, given that that we can confidently talk about getting three at the very least for the Liberal Party in Braddon uh, with 4% there counted. So let's start filling in that map a little bit more. And we'll give it the very least for one there for Labor. Pretty confident they'll get two, but let's just keep for that at this early stage. So uh, when we're looking at that so far, I don't think there are any huge surprises, but it is a relatively good showing. I think one of the big questions tonight in terms of overall performance is how will Jackie Lambie Network go? Now, we've actually seen that vote drop a little bit just in the past little while, so 6.8% down to, and that's the, the concern for her. Some of the smaller booths, particularly in these northern areas, she's done quite well at. So that result has actually been coming down a little bit. We are definitely seeing a swing against the Liberal Party and a pretty strong swing. So far, not a lot is going to the Labor Party, though. So that's the other part of this um, story so far, if you like. Only 2.4%. There is going to be a swing against the Liberal Party. I'd say already, Kieran it's looking extremely unlikely we'll get a majority. We want to see some, some more votes come in because it's just too early, but very unlikely because, on the one hand, Labor's vote's just too low. On the other hand, any swing against Liberal Party hurts. They're going to need to see that up be at, at least sort of 45%. The indication is the swing so far out there is bigger against them. So we're not saying that just yet, but it looks increasingly unlikely for a majority for either side. Tom, thank you.